What's up guys, how's everybody doing? In today's video, I'm going to be trying cheap versus expensive controller attachments for the PS4. I basically ordered a bunch of attachments such as like thumb grips and cases and stuff for the controller and in this video I'm going to try them all out and let you know what I think about them and give them a quick rating. Um, and the reason I'm starting the video off here is because I had to take the camera off the tripod and then I wanted to put the camera back on the tripod and film like a hand cam kind of video. So stay tuned if that sounds like something you're interested in and let's get right into the video. All right, everybody, the first thing we got is this Inferno Red Control Freak. I've got it from Control Freak themselves, and I'm going to be testing it on this standard black DualShock 4 controller. And yeah, I don't want to waste any time talking because we have very many really cool items I would like to try. So without further ado, let's get straight into the first item. All right, everybody, now you can see I have the Inferno Control Freak on the controller um, I'm going to try and start with some accuracy and then I think we're gonna head into some building and the only reason I'm not putting it on my other stick is because I won't be able to reach my shapes my shape button. like I won't be able to use these buttons here because I'm not a sh I'm not a claw player with this control freak it's so much easier to just edit like I've noticed that on the off brand like thumb grips it's so much harder to click in your edit button but with the control freak I can sit here and click edit all day like see it keeps working I'm gonna try some AR easy so as you guys can see with this control freak it keeps my movement really smooth like it, I'm gonna kill one last little bot here for you guys, but it keeps my it keeps my movement really smooth So I'm definitely gonna give a thumbs up to the um, Control freak if you guys think about buying the inferno control freak You should definitely go ahead and do it now. We're gonna move on to the building and cranking part of this video I'm loading up this map now, and I'm going to try and you know Just kind of run around and build a little and see what happens um Hopefully, it keeps my movement really nice because, you know, who want and want who doesn't want nice movement? Yep, and like I said, I can edit really well. It only is just a small bit confusing for me though, because I'm never really one to use a control freak other than me not used to it yet I'd give it definitely like a good eight or nine out of ten and the only reason I wouldn't give it like a full like rating is because number one it's kind of hard to get used to it and it takes a long time and number two it basically is just too big like for this I can't reach over to the bottom like the bottom button on d-pad um, because if you have like smaller fingers or you you're not a claw player You won't be able to reach that button like if it was on this stick I wouldn't be able to reach like my X to jump or circle to build but other than that I definitely give this a thumbs up All right, everybody the next thing we are going to be working with is this clear Control rubber cover and it's basically got these like grippy lines in the back and it's really it feels like a really nice Touch to it like if you guys were here you could definitely feel the way it is I mean I'm sorry you can't feel it through the camera but I definitely like the way this feels I like the rubber feel to it it probably I could see it definitely helping players who have the sweatier hands but I'm gonna go ahead put this thing on the controller and test it out all right guys so now we have the rubber casing on the controller um, it definitely feels nice and has a good grip feel to it so I do kind of like the way it feels but one thing I'm noticing right now right off the bat is the way you run like it kind of gets clipped onto the edge like when I run I'll show you guys it gets like clipped onto the edge of the case and it makes your movement a lot slower like the way I, I'm running right now you can I can definitely tell that it's harder because like your movement gets kind of slowed down by the rubber on the outside of the stick another problem is being able to reach up on top of each button it's kind of harder because unlike this side where they cut it all out for the buttons on this side they kept it flat in the middle so they didn't cut the entire thing out so it kind of makes it 
a little difficult to reach everything. And it almost just, it only just feels like a little too like flimsy almost. Like right there, I couldn't like, like it's almost just, like the grip is moving almost. Like while I'm playing and I move like a certain direction, you see how up here it's already starting to like group together and fall off. So if you make like really big movements with your hands when you're playing and it like, it makes you pick the grip up and then it will fall off the controller, you know? Like if, you, if you're tight with it and you pull it up, it's gonna come off the buttons like it's doing now. So you guys make sure you wanna be careful of that if you buy one of these. Um, I actually don't have any links to buy these, but I did get this one at five below because in the title you can see that it's cheap. Like it's cheap versus expensive. So, but yeah, overall for the accuracy portion, I do kind of like this, but I don't like how it's super like, super large. Like it's definitely like, a large feel and if you put too big of a movement then it will um, start to come off but now we are going to head over to the building and editing section of this and we're gonna try to hit up some cranking and I'll let you know how what I think about it alright so now I am going to build a little um, yeah it's definitely like the same kind of problem um, how the buttons are kind of harder to press and the stick like see my movement is kind of bad for editing and look like for looking and moving it's just kind of like too big and they and for the like the analog sticks it kind of clips onto the rubber and makes your movement a lot slower so for this one I'd probably give it a solid like maybe five or six out of ten because it is kind of like too like too flimsy like if you grip it hard enough it'll come off um, and if you're moving your sticks then you will definitely connect to the side and your movement will be slowed down a lot but other than that I do one thing I will say a positive for this like one of the pros is it does do its job as a grip my hands won't get sweaty on this I could play for like hours I used to actually use one of these I could play for a long time and not get sweaty so if you're playing a simple non-competitive game and your hands sweat a lot then this is definitely the choice for you. But anyways, we will be on to the next item. One thing I do wanna quickly say is when you take that rubber thing off your controller, it does leave a really like sticky and grippy feel to your controller, which is awesome. So when you take it off, it does kinda of leave a sticky, like very nice to hold feeling. But our next item are going to be these thumb grips. Now, don't get them confused with the Control Freak, which is actually sitting here on my desk. Don't get it confused with these. This one is like a Control Freak. It's like, it's like extended upwards, has that design on it. These are like shorter. They just wrap around the stick instead of getting attached to it. And they're like, they're convex kind of look to them like they have a small bit of like concave in the middle but for the most part they kind of pop out and they have that dotted look to it for extra grip but we're going to try it out now I'm in the I'm still in the cranking map but I'm going to head over to the accuracy course get some accuracy in and then go see how I like it when it comes to building and editing all right everybody I'm in this map once again I've got the grips on the controller we are still running the standard non-claw position here um, but I'm going to grab a few items and I'm going to check out these grips I will say they are a lot better than getting a whole case on your controller because the rest of the controller still feels nice without you being like interrupted by the rest of it but one thing I will say is that I personally now this isn't for everybody, but me personally, I'm not a fan of the dotted feeling. And since these ones aren't that strong of a grip, when you, if your fingers slide off and rub across the bumps, it could get really annoying. So as far as the bumps and stuff is concerned, I'm kind of not that big of a fan. I'd rather it be like a concave, super grippy inferno feel to it, just like the control freak. But this one, isn't so it's kind of not my number one choice so if you can spend a little bit of extra money and go out and get yourself one of these the control freak i des definitely suggest that you do considering the grip is way stronger and i really do like the inferno feel but 
with that being said we're going to head over to the cranking simulator map and we are going to build a little bit throw down some edits and i will let you guys know what i think of this move i don't know why i just said move i'm going to let you know what i think about these controller grips all right so we're going to get to building real quick um one thing i am noticing right now is just like i said beforehand um the editing feel like how it when you edit it like pokes up and you can't really like click your edit button as easy that's one thing i don't really like because it does wrap around it's rubber it's literally rubber wrapped around your stick unlike this unlike the control freak the bottom is what grabs your controller and then the top is what you hold for these it's just a straight rubber that wraps around your your stick so you could probably definitely see where that gets annoying and the rubber isn't as strong so you're kind of always slipping off and getting messed up by the dots that are on there because like me personally i'm not really a big fan of those but um as far as it as far as i go for an average i would give it another thumbs up um i definitely think these are a little less than the control freak i'd give them a good like maybe six or seven out of ten only because the grip isn't that strong and i don't really i'm not very fond of the dots here but overall I definitely do like these if you're trying to save some money and you don't really want to go out and buy a control freak then these are definitely the wave all right everybody the next thing i have here is this strike pack it's basically this like pack here that plugs into the back of your controller goes in and you use it for paddles as you can see i got one paddle here and one paddle here so that way you don't have to take your fingers off the sticks you can always just kind of jump around and build and crouch whatever you want to bind them to in order to get the best experience for gaming so anyways let's go ahead head to the accuracy course and test this thing out all right everybody as you guys can see i have the right one bound to x and i have the left one bound to circle my build mode and if you want you can either the way these buttons start off is they start off as left and right so what you can do is you can either go into your settings here and change your binds over to like left and right to be whatever you want. Or if you just go on the back, you'll see these buttons here. If you hold this button and press whatever button on this side, then you'll make that paddle what button you press. Like if I hold the right button on the back, like back here, if I hold that button and I press X, then jump is the button. But if I hold the left button, like real quick, I'll show you, I'll bind it to triangle. Now when I press the left stick, it pulls out my pickaxe. I'll show you real quick. I'll go grab this AUG. Um, if I pull it, if I do press the button, now my pickaxe comes out. So if I, again, if I hold the button here, I'm going to hold the button. And then I'm going to press circle. And then this button's bound to circle. So that's basically how you bind the buttons. I'm now going to get into the accuracy portion of this. Um, I'm going to grab this shotgun here. And I definitely, I do personally use one of these. Um, that's how good it is. I do personally use Strike Pack. Um, I'm not sponsored or I'm not trying to like give a shout out or anything. But me personally, I do use the Strike Pack. Because it's if sometimes people just don't like to sit here like this and play claw so it's definitely a perfect alternative for paddles if you don't want to go out there and buy a scuff controller then i would definitely recommend you picking up one of these it's not that expensive it's probably like 80 bucks but if you think about it how much is a scuff controller so well not 80 bucks i'm not exactly sure how much it is i do remember it being somewhere up there but it's about the price of a normal PS4 controller so you can buy the regular PS4 controller and then with a little bit of extra money you can add on the strike pack by just going on Amazon or something and buying yourself one but overall I do like the way it feels being able to like quickly pull your builds out put them away and pull your take your builds out and jump and makes it really easy to do things like the Tifu classic and such but anyways we're going to head on to the building and editing portion of this item and see just how well that I can crank with this strike pack compared to just my regular fingers or playing claw alrighty we're in the map now and I'm just going to hit some cranks real quick
yes overall I do think the strike pack is definitely a very very nice thing to buy if you guys do have that little bit of extra money but you don't want to go out there and spend all your money on a control scuff kind of thing like a scuff controller then this is definitely what you should do you can get it as like a little Christmas present you can get it like for whoever you know it's just really nice I do like it it's put little paddles pretty cheap and it goes plug straight into your controller and it works you don't have to have any software set it up you plug it straight in and it works both PC and PS4 and for all those Xbox fans out there you have one as well just search up Xbox control freak or not control freak I keep thinking of control freak cuz I already used it in this video but if you guys want you can look up Xbox strike pack get one PS4 strike pack PC whatever you want and there it is however real quick I just want to mention that personally I do use this kind of setup here like you can combine any of these items like you want to add the control freak to the strike pack and then use it that works as well and then maybe like maybe like for your second stick you can put one of the like off brand ones if you don't want to buy two you can maybe put this one or the gray one on this stick and play like that but with all that being said we are going to be on to the next item all right everybody the next item I want to present are these glasses they're not necessarily gamer glasses but they are these really nice high dollar Oakley glasses and you can really use them for whatever you want you can use them for like the sunlight you can use them for like protection um, you can also be like me and use it for gaming. So this next thing we're going to be testing out is more on the expensive side. It was about $250 and it was about $250 if you'd rather hear it that way. So basically these are going to protect you if you want to sit there like me and play video games all day. If you're in a scrim, playground, creative, pub match even and your eyes start to get real tired and painful really easily, you can go ahead chuck these on and you will have a way better time playing the video game but with that let's get straight on to the test sometimes when you're playing a long time your eyes start to hurt and then when you're out somewhere then it really starts to mess up your eyes and it, it'll affect the way you feel looking at the sun or looking around outside and, or maybe just it'll make you overall one person with eye problems so for those of you that don't want that I suggest you go out there get yourself a pair of these and it should really help plus most of the gamer glasses are a lot more expensive than this um, I know 250 sounds like a lot of money but it also doubles as sunglasses that's pretty much what they're for you know they're they're sunglasses all right but you can use them for gaming as well and the reason I turn the hand cam off is because come on no one if I'm using the if I'm using the glasses no one wants to see my controller which by the way I'm using my default is, you know the strike pack and control freak that's basically what I'm sticking with for right now as I said beforehand that's what I'm that's what I'm that's what I prefer and that's what I use on the regular but so far it makes the screen look a lot smoother um, yeah it's just like being outside how you look at the Sun and it's a lot darker and a lot smoother to look at that's just how this feels being able to look at the screen look at my light look at the camera look at the walls whatever I have to do it does help with vision and how everything looks and if I'm gonna sit here and play video games for a while and I don't want my eyes to be hurting later on in the day or later on in life then this is definitely the thing to use it's not that expensive and it really it really helps and it's really worth the money so but anyways we are going to head on to the cranking part for these glasses I mean I know they're just glasses and it might not matter too much to how it affects your cranking and accuracy and stuff like that but just for the ones that really sit in there wanting to know I'm going to do it for you and for those of you that don't care how it affects my building and stuff I'm sorry you're just gonna have to sit here and watch through it anyways but as far as playing the game like how moving goes that doesn't really matter because the glass doesn't really affect your game your the way you play it just affects the way you feel and I like I said before I can play this game like all day pretty much and I would never really feel an eye problem and I've actually done it before I've had these like when I first got them I thought you know what if I try them for gaming because my eyes were kind of starting to hurt and 
I'm telling you, as soon as I started putting these on and wearing these throughout the game, they definitely did help. So for these glasses, I'm going to have to give them a 9, 10 out of 10, mainly because they're pretty, they're really good sunglasses. They're really good for gaming. They have so many different things you can do. They look really stylish. They have this one has to wear it like wraps around your head, um, and it fits perfect no matter what your size is. So definitely give these about 9 or 10 out of 10 because they're just such great glasses and they'll always be there for you. They're very durable, really hard to break. But yeah, with that, we're going to head on to the last item for the video all right everybody last but not least we are going to check out this keyboard and mouse adapter thingy um the whole reason i'm not going to show you guys gameplay of this is because fortnite the game i was playing um it already has keyboard and mouse support so games like that you pretty much won't really care to have this for um it actually acts as an analog stick and controller so if you were to use this for fortnite it makes your movement really weird and it's only for like controller and stuff it really takes your keyboard and mouse input makes it to a controller so if you were using keyboard and mouse with this on fortnite you probably wouldn't have the best experience and i would suggest that you just plug it straight into the ps4 and just play keyboard and mouse normally. But up on my TV, I have games like Realm Royale, Hyperscape, 3 on 3, Freestyle, PUBG, and GTA 5. Stuff like that, this is really good for. I'm not going to show you guys a test for that. But all you have to do is plug it straight into your PS4. Plug your controller in where it says controller right here. And then you can plug your keyboard and mouse in any of these slots. And it will work like a charm. So anyways, this one I do give a good 8 seven or eight out of ten only because this one acts as a controller input and it makes your movement sort of weird because think of it if you were to take your mouse and flick it really fast it would just like it would be just like doing this flicking your analog stick really fast and think about what happens like that when you do that when you do that on controller it just barely moves your movement so if you did that on the mouse it would also barely move your movement so Basically, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to go ahead and give it a like. That would be great. Make sure you guys comment and let me know what you think about this video. But yeah, here's that. Here's my controller. You know, all the items we tested in this video were really great. Um, I really didn't see anything too bad. Like, obviously things such as this, they all had their own flaws. Nothing was exactly 10 out of 10, um, except the glasses. I'd probably give like 9 or 10 out of 10. But anyways, these items were pretty great. And if you want to consider buying any of these, um, I'll leave a list right after this that will show you basically what everything here is called and how you can buy it. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you're new here, subscribe. Peace out.